I'm not entirely sure what the point of the smaller one is. Maybe it's to make the large one look even bigger. Kind of like when you shave the hedges. Poop Sonic X2. I've heard about this model. It's huge. The downside is that it emits radiation causing infertility. I'll have to ask the drug dealer. I risk my life enough living inside a poorly constructed power station. Hey, Brosofino. Let me. Oh, man. Uh, last time. I'm learning you. You must need only some production when you learn it. If. See you. Goodbye. Check out what's on the radio. Whoa, 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 welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day, from around the world. From around the world! A world where you spend every last cent of your savings, and then your wife leaves you, taking your dog, taking your favorite hat, taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion, eventually leaving you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter, and then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Haha, <laughs> enough about me. Let's get into the advertisements. Hey there, Billy. Do you like video games? Yeah. Do you like gross amounts of virtual violence? Yeah. You, you like doing taxis? What? I'm 11 years old, mister. Well, then you'll love our new game from Mega Bro, the company that brought you such hits as Boosting Thugs, Zeldario Zany Man x -Zone. Introducing Tax Evasion, the game. The game. Play as multi-dimensional company with fun gameplay, such as threaten or bribe government officials. Choose which offshore countries it's to put your profits. Take that, I boosted the hell of those thugs. Ah, uh, yes. Man, what the hell? You totally cheated. Some Konami code bullshit. Come on, man. A deal is a deal. Oh, god damn it. By the way, some big guy was looking for you. Super nice. Apparently wanted to dissect you for some reason or another. You're only telling me this now? To be honest, I'm just super stressed about how I'm going to pay the bank back for all those high interest loans for all this gear. Free drugs. I'm living the dream. One space dust, please. Enjoy your space dust. Finally. Time to get that floppy disk and, uh, and not, you know, die horrible death. Damn. Where is he? Oh. No. You better not be dead. Why did you have to pass out now? Wait a second. No. You mean you were sitting on the box of these the whole time? 
Really? Yeah, it's good to see you still have motor functions, judging by the twitch of your leg. Now let's go save Krush from inevitable destruction. At least for a little bit longer, so I can make some beatsies. If I get back, and it turns out John just wanted me out of the house to hook up with some biddies, I swear to DJ Jesus I will make Internet Explorer the default web browser and wave a magnet over his hard drive. No! Doug! What did they do to you? Paradigm. Come close. I have one last bit. No, Doug. Save your energy. We need to get you to a hospital. Baradine, I've always considered you my best friend. I owe you this one less. <laughs> no! Doug, I will avenge you. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, you asshole. You faked your own death to avoid paying rent? Maybe. That's the last time I have a heartfelt moment for you. I am going to leave him there till he learns his lesson. Or until the local bears come foraging for food. They're vegan and would cook up a storm with eggplants. What are you? Can robots even drink beer? Oh, right. Could you maybe elaborate? How does uh, drinking beer work? But Mr. Sentient Water Henchman, you were a cool guy all along. Just tap your feet twice. Rumbo? How are you? Is that not some form of cannibalism? It's wrong. I won't have this content to pop. Man, science is weird as hell. Why the incessant bopping? Not true. To be honest, not my definition. There's no big pop out. Make it in my own nonsense. Check it out. More dynamic. I don't laugh. You're probably epic. Uh, what are you doing? Well, 
Wow, interesting. More specifically, what you're doing here? What is a prodigy child? That's uh, pretty rough. Yeah, well, anyway, this one is real. Messed up, 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 sneak it back for whatever reason. So, then I am. Are you talking physical or metaphysical, door? Physically, maybe. I don't need to hit it. Metaphysically, too. You're a glorified lock. You don't have any teeth. Uh, what does he look like? some fictional character I'd be more upset about dying than most people. Can you just let me through? Not really. I'm probably locked up and who is going into the poor. Not in something water. Do not hurt a victim. Nothing? At all? What did I do? Okay. Look, a three headed monkey. What if I ask you like this? Can you. Let me through. If I have a I won't fall up in my head. Then fall up in this earth. Since I want to be alive. What if I ask you like this? What? Don't you have any hopes and dreams you want to fulfill? To be on a why don't you? I'm not going to be on I don't know that I ever kind of got caught us. What if I told you? Time to put boosting thugs to good use. Ready. Boost. <laughs> boosting thugs. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Don't 
to act up. You really believe that? Yeah, of course. Just teleport him into the offices! Come on, dude. You know Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't work well under aggressive management. Did you know? Without Paradigm, we can't fix the others. And without fixing the others, Dupe Genetics goes into the red. When we go into the red, Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki doesn't get his paycheck. Then, Mr. Yorpodoskovasaki can't pay for his subscription to Kawaii Cats Online! Oh, dude! Don't bring Kawaii Cats into this! That is my life! Regardless, this machine is janky as hell. Bob from accounting is still inside out from the last test. He had a body pillow who loved him very much. Now, not so much. Teleport him into the offices! Why not the dungeon? The other faulty prodigy children are there. I don't want a revolution on my hands. Just do what I say! All right! Jesus, dude. Bit vibes. Are you sure that's how it works? Excuse me. I think I know a little bit more about matter decompilers than you. I'm the scientist here. Oh, yes. So goddamn pumped. Finally time to make some fat beats, play some epic music. Oh, Davo. I was looking forward to a third apocalypse. Maybe some mutated mold could replace you. Or imagine it would have far more personality. Mold the adventure game. Now that dream is taken away. I'm going to ignore that you said that, and let's boot up this bad boy. Yeah, right, wait a miser. Who gonna be now? Do 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 do. Who gonna be now? Do 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 do. Who gonna be now? Do 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 do. Who gonna be knocking at my door? All right, done. Put in the flobby to continue chasing your unreachable dreams. Ugh. Now that I can do it, I don't really feel like it. Come on, mate. This happens every time. Can't really force inspiration, man. I guess I might as well browse endlessly and discover fetishes I never realized I had. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've got great bitty methods. Can't do it for prayers and history and talk no more. Man, that was really weird. I think it's over. Nope. Oh jeez! <laughs> Bloody hell, they were just bots. I knew it was too good to be true. I should have caught on when they asked me for my credit card number. Welcome to the multiverse. Here, you are one with each of your multidimensional forms. Ugh. Ow. It hurts. Hey, it's not so bad the second time. Who are you? Is there a manager for this multiverse? Because if there is, I am going to have to speak to him. I, uh, I, I guess I'm technically the manager. Damn it, you messed up my spiel. I'm going to start again. I am the all-seeing keeper of the multiverse. My ultimate purpose is to tell you. Tell me what? Just shut up for a second. You, you are the chosen one. Are you sure? 
Last time I was told I was the chosen one, they wanted my credit card number. No! <laughs> what I did to you was what us multiverse keepers call, in the biz, rustlin' jimmies. <laughs> People sometimes breach the multiverse from messing around with teleportation. We just like to mess with people's heads. You aren't the chosen one. You do have a semi-important part, though. The actual chosen one is a way cooler 25 to 35 year old black-haired male with a gruff voice. Anyway, your time is up. Peace. Wait, can I ask you something else before I go? Yeah, I, I guess. Do dogs have internal monologues? The answer is... Yes? <laughs> Man, I love this job. That shit never gets old. Damn it! I was this close to knowing the answer to life's greatest question. Welcome to my dungeon. You are now my prisoner for eternity, forever tormented by the thing that once gave you refreshment, now only providing you with never-ending pain! Ugh, deja vu. Oh well then, almighty oh tormentor. Speaking of refreshing beverages, my throat is quite parched as I presumably was split into a million pieces and transported through time and space. Can I trouble you for one? Silence! My refreshing days are over. Bow down to the eternal sound of the forever restarting refrigerator motor. May it be a reminder of your sins. <laughs> Never have I heard such a horrifying sound. Yeah, just wait till you're just about to fall asleep. And this bad boy kicks in. You're gonna be so irritated. I will be sure to heed that warning, water cooler of doom. I'm glad you're starting to show some respect. If you're lucky, I'll let you lick my nipple nozzles. Do you really have to call them that? Well, if you can think of a better name for them, I'm all ears. Tips? Ugh. What the hell? A sick man, Paradigm. Sick! I got to get out of this office prison room thing. I'm not sure if the office could handle the hard hit of less productivity if I took this down. You could probably be working harder. At least this poster is realistic about office productivity. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, a cup? Nice. And here I was hoping the entire universe would be contained in some cheap Swedish furniture. But a cup would do. Ah, uh, yes. Communal fridges are where leftovers go to die. Rest in peace. May your moldy covering bring you forgiveness. You are listening to the fridge, baby. First of all, you better wrap your leftovers. While I wrap, the door was left open, the room is cold. Forget the toaster, I'm the illest in the kitchen. Knocked out the form and grill, put the sink in a submission. You should listen, mister, got a real chill bargain. Those opposed wind up on a milk cart. Still starving, chasing pellets like some Pac-Man. Your girl is getting seconds, got her hands up in my snack bin. Oh. And I'm relaxing, the coolest of the coolers. I keep it fresh any less you flush into the sewers. Make maneuvers, I'ma make sure your food's gonna last. I'm the fridge, baby, I'll survive a nuclear blast. If 
there was anything I wanted in my life, it definitely is a wrapping fridge. Liz always had the best ringtones. HR departments are really struggling to find new ways to award their employees. I came to work only drunk twice this week. Nothing like making creepy replica animatronics to show how much you mean to the company. That employee truly worked hard for that spot, and the company irresponsibly spent money to make this animatronic head. I'll leave it be. Ah, man. Turns out traveling the multiverse ganks your stuff. But not the serrated spoon. Serrated spoon never lets me down. Please don't ever leave me, Serrated Spoon. <laughs> you want to drink me? Too bad. That is not the official cup. You can't do jack shit. When there is an emergency, I'll take it. Or it's time to reenact pop nonfiction. I've got enough terrible posters at the power station. Hello, nonsense. The less you clearly be like the circle. These geometrical beauty standards are really getting out of hand. All shapes are beautiful. I don't really need any sugar right now. I'll keep you posted if I do. Maybe start a bake sale. Raise enough money to buy Doug his first car. This could be useful. Wait. Damn it. It's glued to the books. Damn you, Jim, and your jovial work-related pranks. go tagging public property. Take that, society. You will have to endure my deep toilet cubicle philosophies. This will be now my go-to dancing move. Hey, I'm pretty good at this drawing thing. Artistic. Whoa, you got the cup. Fair effort, to be honest. Although I'll just keep being refilled. You can never defeat me. Nice spoon is destined for greater things. Well, it does technically get me out of this room. I technically would be dead. And technically, that's not what I want. And I'm pretty sure I'm technically using technically wrong. They're all empty. Empty like the hole in my heart, caused by both disease and emotion. I could blow my way out. However, last time I used a grenade, I blew off a stranger's arm. He grew it back, but uh, that's not the point. One does not steal another man's action figure. It's frowned upon in the man-child community. What am I? A cleaning person? Only on weekends when I need the extra cash. 
Knife spoon is... It's uh, blocked by the water cooler of doom. I need to get rid of him somehow. Maybe I can drink him. Brutal, but effective. They might be keeping me hostage, but increasing the water bills is just unethical revenge. I am not a huge book guy. Blissful ignorance is the only thing I have left. You're done, water cooler. You're done. <laughs> I've got batteries, baby. I'm not your average refreshing tormentor. I mean, just tormentor. No more refreshing. <sighs> It is a corner with no discernible features which would elicit any reaction from me. The smell from the aircon is like oven roasted hand lotion. I'm... I'm so ashamed I know what that smells like. Some companies tune their light frequency to literally drain their workers' souls. I heard soul wholesale prices are pretty good these days. He let me start. Hey, see goodbye. Good idea. However, I can't pull it out. It's fastened on. Say goodbye to your watery power. Ha! What are you gonna do? Wait till I evaporate? I keep telling you. I'll just refill. What the hell? Oh, well then. Enjoy drinking me, you sick bastard. Time to get my drink on. One refreshing hour later. That was pretty refreshing, actually. Except for the part where he was screaming in agony, begging for his life when I was literally drinking him to death. 